everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be another vlog. We are continuing the unpacking process. I also have a Target haul for you guys, and we are getting ready for some guests that are coming in this weekend to stay with us. I've talked about her a lot on my channel. Her name is Kristen, aka K-Bugs. She is my amazing friend, and she is coming in town with her husband to stay with us for the weekend to have a little birthday celebration for me. Yesterday was my birthday, and I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. So many of you guys did, and I had a fantastic birthday. It was a great day. I got to spend it with my boyfriend and then we had dinner with my family and it was just a super fun day so thank you guys so so much also I put on a little makeup for you guys today I know <laughs> I haven't worn makeup in a video in like weeks <laughs> but yeah we have a lot to get done today I need to go to Walmart as well so you guys might come along with me I don't know it depends on how brave I'm feeling and I'll show you guys what I buy at Walmart but we have our pantry organizer coming in today along with a few other things so the unpacking process will also be in this video. So anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. So here's the state of our kitchen counter. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I opened up a bunch of packages last night, which I will show you guys what I got. I also have some birthday presents and stuff up here. I'm gonna kind of organize this and then make it a little bit neater and then I'll show you guys everything that I got. So here is all of my Target stuff. I will take everything out and show you guys what I got in just a second, but I figured I'd do uh, a little haul for you. Well, this is gonna be a haul, but I wanna show you some other stuff that I bought first. So I got these bowls from Amazon. They will be linked down below. I got these because we like to eat a lot of ramen and like soup and noodles and stuff and I figured these would be great. They're pretty tall so I think they're gonna be perfect. I think these are technically marketed as salad bowls but I thought they were the perfect shape and size so I went ahead and ordered those. Uh, we got this game to play. We're having um, a few friends over for dinner on Saturday and we love games. We all love games. So I got this game to try. It's called Codenames. That was actually from Target. Then I went to Sephora yesterday and um, I had a gift card. Shout out to Miss Allie Dawson for <laughs> sending me a Sephora gift card. I got to purchase a couple things. I know the Sephora VIB sale is coming up, so I didn't go crazy. But I did buy the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I love this stuff. They just redid the packaging, so it's a lot nicer now, and I'm very excited about it. And then I also bought one of these Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Blush Sticks to try. I have it in this peachy shade. It's called Perky Peach. And I'm so excited about both of those. And then I have a couple of things that were sent to me in PR, so I figured I would show you guys those really quick. First, we have Kaleidos. They sent over a ton of products, and I can't wait to open all of them up, but I went ahead and opened up this little eyeshadow palette. The packaging is so cute, so fun. I love the dark colors and the lacy texture. There's actually like lace on here. And this shade right here is absolutely stunning. I already swatched it. It's so sparkly and so fun. I cannot wait to play around with all of these products. So thank you so much to Kaleidos for sending this collection over. We also have a collection from Buxom. This is the Dare to be Dolly collection. It's limited edition and it looks like it's available at buxomcosmetics.com and ulta.com. So we have a couple of lippies, a mascara, and then these are palettes, and I'm gonna open these up and show you guys how sparkly the shades are because they are to die for. This is the first palette. It's called Darling Dolly. Look at those eyeshadows. They are so shimmery and fun. And then we have Diva Dolly, which again, has some super sparkly shimmery shades. I cannot wait to use those. And then finally we have this package from Laura Mercier. They sent over these hydrating balm glosses. These are new. The colors are stunning. We have rose, vanilla, creme caramel, <laughs> baby doll, and rose syrup. So 
yeah that is everything that i got package wise now i will show you my target haul okay so here's my little target haul first up we got some new towels these are the threshold 100 percent cotton spa bath towels these are so soft i'm gonna wash these today along with um a few other things that i got because like i said earlier our friends Kristen and lane are coming in town so these are our new guest bathroom tile tiles <laughs> towels we wanted to have some fresh ones in there so we got those we also got this curtain for jarvis this is from project 62 it's a blackout curtain we bought a curtain rod i think it's in his room from target yesterday as well uh, but this is just going to go on the window in his room so he can cover up the blinds because a lot of light still gets in through the blinds which is great sometimes but not all the time then we got some new sheets these are the room essentials microfiber sheets i love these sheets they are great they stay really cool you don't get too hot and they're really soft um and we got these in a queen we got a new couch that's like a futon type couch and i think it's like about a full size but we got a mattress topper thing it's between a full and a queen so it's a little bit bigger than a full a little bit smaller than a queen so we just went with queen to make sure that you know it fit we figured a little bit bigger was better than a little bit too small then we got two extra pillowcases we have guest pillows that we um, have for when people come over but now instead of an air mattress <laughs> we have the pull-out couch thing so I need to wash these today as well we got these shelves for Jarvis's office again from project 62 they're just like different size floating shelves they look really cool um, it comes with five and then we have some bathroom stuff so Jarvis got this razor it's from harry's it's the chrome edition and then he also got some foaming shape gel to try he hasn't used this before but he's gonna try it out then we got some shampoo and conditioner for the guest bathroom because we ran out <laughs> so i got some fresh Kristen s shampoo and conditioner we got some body wash um this one is for Jarvis he smelled this and absolutely loved the way that it smelled it's in the scent vintage suede um this is for the guest bathroom I just realized we didn't get like a you know fruity smelling one or anything so uh, I guess Kristen is gonna have to go with the sea and surf body wash but that's fine <laughs> and then Jarvis and I just got some of his Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine shampoo and conditioner which I know is probably not the best but we love it we love the scent of it we love the way that it makes our hair feel and it's really inexpensive um we don't like use this all the time but we kind of alternate between this and olaplex which is like two extremes so that is everything that i got at target i'm pretty sure plus the uh curtain rod that's in the other room and then this game code names let me know if you guys have played this before and if it's fun let me know if you liked it so um yeah that's everything that i got at target yesterday we had dinner with my parents and my brother and his girlfriend and this was one of my birthday presents from my parents it's this massive pothos plant and it is so pretty it looks so good in this basket so i think what i'm gonna do is move this basket over here and then we'll move this plant somewhere else because we need something tall here i just don't know what yet either a lamp or a plant or something but we just need more height so i'm gonna move this plant here move this plant somewhere else and then we'll find something to go here we also are looking for something to possibly go here like a little table but something very like narrow or like thin from front to back nothing too thick because there's a walkway here so we don't want to like obstruct the walkway but it just looks kind of blank here so um if you guys have any recommendations from like ikea or target or something that i can buy online let me know uh, i'm gonna be on the hunt for that but yeah anyway while i wait for our amazon packages to get here so that i can organize our pantry organizer and take care of the stuff on this table i'm gonna go make our bed and just kind of straighten up do some laundry and stuff like that 
So let's go. I forgot to show you guys, but we actually also bought this. This is from Casa Luna. This is the memory foam and down alternative mattress pad. We got this for our guest bed, hopefully to make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, when we were checking out, the cashier was like, oh, I wanna buy this so bad. Like so many people come through and buy this and they say it's so good. So hopefully it's good. <laughs> I don't know, we'll find out, but um, again, this is for our guest room, so we got this in a queen size. And everything from Target, I will link down below. I just need to remind myself, but it should be linked down below so you guys can check out this stuff. All the Amazon stuff that I talk about on my channel is always linked down below, but just thought I would mention this really quick as well. So my Amazon package finally got here. We have some kitchen mats in here. This is a pantry organizer. And then we also ordered a label, or not a label, a ladle. <laughs> and I also ordered this. This is the Florida Gardening Planner 2021 to 2022. Um, it's a Florida month by month edible garden planner and journal for an abundant harvest. I'm so excited about this. Um, so for my birthday, I actually got a raised garden bed to put in our backyard so that we can plant some edible food or <laughs> plants. <laughs> um, so this is like a little planner that I bought on Amazon and it has some like key plant types here. We have our annual planner and um, it's like a weekly planner and it has like, you know, everything that, you know, you want to keep track of <laughs> and then um, for each month when you look at the monthly look it actually shows you what uh, to plant so like if you're in North Florida Central Florida or South Florida which I live in Northeast Florida so in September um, these are the edible plants that I can start planting I don't know if this is planting or harvesting I'm not sure I'll have to read the through this book but it goes all the way through 2022 and i'm so excited about it i can't wait to get into this world i'm still very very new i'm definitely a newbie but <laughs> i'm excited so uh let's go ahead and open up this stuff lay out the kitchen mats i just got black because our floors are pretty dark and these are just like cushy mats that you can put on the floor to give your feet arrest so i'm gonna vacuum and swiffer and then i will lay these out So 
so I rolled the mats out and they're not laying perfectly flat so hopefully these will kind of like form a new shape on the floor um, but they look pretty close to the color of the floor they're super cushy and very comfortable so if you're standing at the stove or the sink for a while your feet won't hurt as bad so we have this one which is a smaller one and then this one is a longer one again it's kind of like wavy and not laying flat so hopefully these can relax a bit and then I can straighten them out but they're definitely very functional probably not the cutest thing but they don't look bad they kind of blend in with the floor and I think once they lay flat and aren't so like bumpy then I think they'll look a lot nicer Here is the pantry organizer. It looks like we have to build it. I'm gonna see if Jarvis wants to do this while I go to Walmart and pick up a few things because this looks, it doesn't look complicated, it just looks like kind of a lot. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how easy assembly is. It came with a bunch of these little parts as well as hooks to hang over the door. So, kind of confused by that, but there's instructions, so we're good. Um, our living room is looking nice. I need to take care of this box, but uh, this is kind of turning into a cleaning and organizing vlog. So <laughs> I'm gonna go to Walmart and I will probably get a little bit of footage while I'm there, but not much because I'm not good at talking in public to a camera by myself. So let's go to Walmart. So I totally did not get any footage at Walmart. I'm sorry, but I went by myself and it was kind of stressful. There was a lot of people there. The parking lot was so full and it was pouring rain. Like I was covered in rain. Putting the stuff in my car was a nightmare and it's just a really gloomy day. Of course it's not raining now, but it's still really gloomy. I don't think it's gonna clear up for the rest of the day, but we are back. I picked up a few things, but let me show you guys the pantry organizer. It looks so good. It goes on the back of the door here and it's just white. Again, I got this on Amazon. Jarvis installed it. I think it was pretty easy. You just hook these over the door, which it's a little bit too big, but eh, it's not that big of a deal. These shelves get larger as they go down. So down there we have the biggest one and up here we have the smallest one and I think they just pretty much like hook and there's these little sticky things that help it from coming away from the door so like when you move it fast it stays in place so I think it's gonna work really well for us we have some things to organize onto here now so let's go ahead and do that We are making progress in the kitchen. I still have some stuff that I need to wash. I have some stuff drying over here. I have still have a few dishes in the sink that I need to wash. This area is clearing out a bit as well, so we're doing good. Um, I have to put some Cokes in the fridge. I'm gonna wipe down the fridge. I need to wipe down the counters and the stove. But we're looking pretty good. This area over here is basically completely done. I need to figure out <laughs> what to do with this little basket here because I'm not too sure, but I don't think it looks, <laughs> I don't think it looks good there. I put this vase up here. I don't know if it's gonna stay like this, but I think that it looks cute for now. <laughs> it's nice and tall, so it works under the TV well. We have our little Alexa hidden. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot that she responds to her name. Uh, we have her back there. Um, 
but she's kind of hidden on purpose. <laughs> so we're looking good, looking good. I'm so excited. It's finally, finally starting to feel better. This is all that we have left to work on, which we're almost done, but I'm kind of struggling because I feel like everything is kind of already full as far as cabinets go, but we still have like all of these cups and some other dishes like this that we need to take care of. So I'm just gonna keep working in here for a while until I finish this and then um, I have a ton of laundry to fold. So I'll probably work on that next. And here are the containers that I bought from Amazon. I have flour in the big one, sugar in the middle one, and then nothing is in the small one yet. Um, but I think it looks cute. We definitely still need something like big, maybe like on the wall back there or something. I don't know, but I think it looks cute. It definitely goes well with the kitchen. So things are finally starting to come together. Let me show you guys the bed, um, our like guest bed situation. So you guys have seen the couch, how it's supposed to look on my channel. I'm not sure which video, but we... I bought this couch from Ikea and it's like a futon so the this is like where you would sit normally so where you would sit lifts up comes forward drops down and then the back of the couch basically folds down forward to create a basically queen size bed this is a queen sized mattress cover on here right now the bed itself like the futon itself is a little bit more on the firm side definitely not as firm as some but not my ideal comfort so what we did was we bought this down alternative cover and it was like 50 bucks but it still just like wasn't enough I don't think so we layered a bunch of blankets underneath, as you guys can see the hot pink and cheetah print poking through. <laughs> so we layered a bunch of blankets and then we put the fitted like down in memory film alternative thing on top and now it has a nice cush to it and it feels really good from what we can tell. Um, so I'm washing the sheets right now along with the pillowcases. Our pillows are from Target as well, I believe. So. Yeah, we're making progress here. This is Jarvis's office. Um, don't want to show you anything in case that's like work stuff, but yeah. Looks a little cramped in here right now, but it's definitely coming together. I also need to clean in here. It's like so yellow in the bathrooms. I guess like the light bulbs they use are just like really yellow. <laughs> um, but I need to clean in here. It's not bad. Um, and we cleaned like when we moved in a couple weeks ago. But I definitely need to clean the sink and toilet. We just cleaned the tub and shower thoroughly. So the tub and shower are nice and clean. We have a fresh shower liner and curtain. I also need to replace these towels. I'm also washing the towels right now. These ones are fine. They're just not like... I don't know, they're kind of dingy because we've used them so much, so we wanted to get some fresh towels. So that's kind of where we're at right now. My makeup room is still a mess. My plan was to work on this today. I filmed an intro for a part two of a beauty room organization video. I don't know if I'm going to get around to it. It just depends on what how fast I get stuff done because like I said Kristen and Lane are coming in tonight so yeah here's just a little update on that it's still a complete mess oh my god that scared me so bad <laughs> Jarvis just uh, walked in <laughs> okay well anyway I will check in with you guys in a little bit
All right guys, we have another update. I finally cleared off the dining room table. I just finished wiping it down. And here is what it's looking like. Our kitchen and dining room are finally coming together. I put our flour and sugar things up here like you guys saw. I also put this massive candle and this little thing. I always forget what it's called. But I think that it all looks cute up there. I still think we're missing some height here, but I think it looks cute. Our kitchen counter is completely cleaned off, cleared off. Everything that's on the kitchen counter will stay on the counter, like this stuff, paper towels, candle, and soap. And then over here is the living room. And again, everything is pretty much done here. I need to move this stuff off the ledge, but our TV and everything is set up. I switched around the plants and I think it looks a lot better, although I am going to find a different plant to go there and then this one will find a new home. Jarvis is currently building a bar stool. <laughs> we bought a fourth bar stool to match because this, um, I was about to call it an island. This like bar area is a lot longer than it was at our apartment and it will fit four perfectly, but we just had to wait for one to come in stock. So I left a gap there. So once he's done with that, we'll be able to put our fourth bar stool here, but it's all coming together and it looks so good. We need to get a little rug for the entryway. And also <laughs> we decided that we did not like the kitchen mats. I just don't think they look very nice and so I think I'm gonna return them I did go to Walmart today and I bought new kitchen mats and they still did not look good so if you guys have any kitchen mat recommendations let me know because I don't really know what to do but I feel like we don't have to have them but I feel like it would just be a good addition to our kitchen area so that is all set and ready to go. I still have to fold some laundry. I put the last load in the washer so that stuff should be done soon. We made the bed in here, sorry. <laughs> we made the bed in here for Kristen and Lane. They're on their way. Oh, you put a middle finger up on my thing? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. It was you, remember you changed my kitchen? That wasn't me. That wasn't me, we'll just censor that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the bed is ready to go for, for Lane and Kristen. Um, I still need to finish cleaning in here. I hung up one of the towels because one of them was washed and cleaned separately. So those are in the dryer right now, but I just need to finish cleaning up in here. My makeup room is a nightmare. We're not even going to talk about it. And the laundry room is empty because... Like I said, the last load is in the washer right now. Now I'm gonna work on folding some laundry. I have one load up here, a couple loads in here, but I did wanna show you guys my new laundry basket. I'm so obsessed with it. We got it at TJ Maxx, I think. I think it was from TJ Maxx. Where is the tag? I think, it was Marshalls. oh, it was Marshalls. Did you take the tag off? Yeah. So we got it at Marshalls and it's, so cute, it's so perfect. This is gonna be the laundry hamper that we keep in the laundry room for clean laundry to transport it from the laundry room, which is literally all the way on the other side of this hallway. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna transport the laundry <laughs> into here because I always fold the laundry on the bed because I just sit on the bed and fold while I watch a video or something. So this way we have a laundry basket for clean laundry and a laundry basket for dirty laundry and it looks so good in our laundry room with our rug that's in there so the laundry room's coming along as well so I'm gonna go ahead and fold some laundry and clean the bathroom and then once Jarvis is done I just need to basically run the vacuum through the entire house besides the living room and kitchen because I already vacuumed that like twice.
right guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.